This is Tulbagia violacea variegata. So this is variegated um, society garlic. And uh, what's unique about this plant is the light lavender flowers combined with the variegated foliage you see down here. And if a lot of people are familiar with um, society garlic, but this is a good example. You see how they planted this whole median island with this plant? I mean, it looks amazing when it's in bloom. I think these lavender flowers combined with the whitish foliage is a beautiful combo. Um, it's so hard when the plant gets to this stage to really appreciate it. And so let me talk about that. I did it on the other society garlic, but I'll just mention that as a large scale planting, this is a real brutal, a brutal thing to do to a maintenance company because they're left with this situation of how do we deadhead this plant without making it look terrible. And when you put this mini in front of a maintenance company, they're just essentially gonna mow this plant down. They'll cut it all the way back to where they can get down below the dead flower stalks. These flower stalks stay brown. So the maintenance company needs to get rid of these. And the only way they're gonna do this in mass the way you see here is to cut the entire plant down to about where my hand is. Well, you can imagine how that looks when they're all done. If you're, if you're an individual and you're designing this for a residence, that's kind of a different matter. And you can selectively hand prune these without cutting the foliage down. And that's what I would recommend. But if you use these in mass, uh, that's the problem is you're gonna cut this plant down. It's gonna take uh, weeks to recover and it'll start blooming again. That's one of the amazing things about this. You can see all of these blossoms with the dead flowers. See these nice, these are beautiful little flowers. And um, I'm always kind of um, conflicted about using this plant because I know how much it can bloom, but the reality is the most requested phrase in my profession from my clients is, I want low maintenance. And this plant is not that. It's a mixed blessing. It blooms so much, but it has to be physically deadheaded. It is not self-cleaning, and so it's high maintenance. So just be aware of that. Um, the plant itself is great and combines well with carpet roses. This with coral flower carpet or white meadlin ground cover uh, looks amazing. The colors go together very well, so good combination there, and they bloom at the same time during the summer. And um, spacing, I would say to put these about 16 inches on center. <clears throat> Over time, the clump um, enlarges, edge, its edge pushes out, so it will fill in over time from one gallon containers is what I recommend. Uh, these look best with some regular water. I've seen them uh, cut back on water. They don't look as good as if they have um, regular water, at least in hot inland areas. Near the coast, you can probably get away with less water. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the deer uh, leave this plant alone. This smells like onions, by the way. That's one of the other downsides is when you cut this for at least a good week, it's gonna smell like onions uh, around the area where you cut these. And because of that, a lot of people homeowners don't like this plant. So if you're going to use it in in residential, I'd say try and use it away from patios and walks where people are hanging out. And that is variegated society garlic.